up, Woody Nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for the One Punch Man webcomic chapter 137. So, woo, man, first of all, one, you are spoiling us. You are spoiling us this week because, like, we've gotten hella chapters of the webcomic. Um, over the past week and I am 1 billion percent okay with this um, so last chapter was really really awesome I love the writing that we got for um, Raiden and Puri's fight I love the um, uh, the fact that Raiden was like dude I could see for myself that Puri ain't no villain I could see that Puri is doing his, his thing that I, I don't need I'm not no sheep I'm on the ground. Those fuckers don't know what's going down. And I love that. I really love the writing that's happening here. And then, here's where things got very, very interesting. Was at the end of the chapter, we found out that Metal Bat is going into the Skynet room. Woo! I am so curious if, if one is actually going to do this. Oh my god. I really, part of me really wants metal bad to you know become part of skynet and then the other part of me is like no don't do it don't do it anyway let's get to this chapter see what's in store for us today here we go speaking of metal bat um mr bad i've uh, brought you your meal and he is chained up this is some key <laughs> this is a 50 shades shit one oh my god if this is what we're getting in the web comic Oh man, imagine the kinky shit that's going to be going on in Murata's art. I'm just saying. How the fuck do you expect me to eat like this? Get the shit off of me right now. I swear I won't lay a finger on you, meal, uh, meal delivery guy. I've been ordered by Mr. Ehrman um, uh, to keep your body maintained in tip-top shape, so... Hey, buddy, you think you could just turn someone into a cyborg against their will, huh? ha <laughs> ha! Thank you! I bet you did those guys up in the same way, too, without asking, right? I got it now, so this is the kind of organization you guys run, huh? The truth behind the Neo Heroes is you're the bad guys, huh? Uh, yeah. Oh, you come to administer the surgery. You're awfully energetic, aren't you? You'll make such a great cyborg warrior. Yes, we know you're Skynet. We know you're fucking Skynet. We do the only thing we don't know is if you are working with Metal Knight or not. That's the one thing I want to know. And that's the, I think that's the other thing that, um, that, uh, the child emperor is starting to think is maybe you, that fucker's working with them. And especially based on, now that I'm thinking about it and I'm going to put my tinfoil hat on this, based on what Metal Knight was saying, it really, really seems like he's working with them. Really does. And what he's doing is he's really, he's experimenting with both, uh, the neo neo heroes and the monsters because why hasn't he touched the hero association yet why because this is a big fucking game it is a game oh my do you still intend to fight it's not very manly to refuse to admit defeat well you don't think you could win a rematch do you i never lost to begin with yeah you guys were bitches that's what happened you fuckers you guys are the dude it's these fuckers were sneaky. These fuckers played the, went the bitch way. That's what happened. So don't give don't give Metal Bat that shit about being manly to refuse to admit defeat. Go fuck off. Fuck off, you pieces of crap. I just didn't think the bat you guys issued me uh, issued me be so flimsy. Using a catchphrase like hyper oh. Using a catchphrase like high performance and making it super easy to break. You guys did that shit on purpose. Got me good there. Yeah, um, that's what I mean by bitch move. And also, Melbat, you are at fault too. You shouldn't have trusted them motherfuckers from the start. You should have brought your own bat. Fuck them. Fuck them. Don't worry, I won't kill you, but you better clench your teeth if you want to keep them. For someone on the lowest rungs of the former S-Class, you sure are conceited, aren't you? Wait, I'll do it. Woo! So now we're going to see how the fight went down, but, dude, this is some bitch move shit. Um, uh, metal sound, so you're a cyborg too. Uh, uh in that case, in, uh, wait, 
So you're a cyborg too, eh? In that case, I can get a little rougher. Take this, fighting spirit! Whoa, <laughs> whack a ball thrashing! Arya, 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 Arya! Destro, check your damage ratio. If you keep taking hits like that, it'll be worse than it looks. Even with generous estimations, the force of impact from a human movement should be limit limited to a few tons maximum. Exceeding that norm is what makes them S-Class heroes. Ooh, dude, I cannot wait to see Murata's art on this. It is going to be... If, and the, One's art, again, I've been saying this, One's art is getting so much better, and just imagining what Murata's gonna do with it is just gonna... Oh, God, Murata is gonna do some good shit with this. Oh, my God. Um, Sparking Tornado! Dude, what the shit? He was defending, but in, in the end, he was electrocuted instantly. However, we can't let our guard down around this man. I will tear out his heart while he's incapacitated. I broke! There's smoke or something coming out of it. Oh, well, nothing wrong with my fists. Dude, that was a bitch move! They shot darts! They shot trank, tranks up at him! Armin, um, it's over now. You were off uh, guard, Destro. I don't, don't give him any more external stimulus. It would be more effective to, to just bind him and gent, uh, gently let him sleep. Looking back on it, maybe it wasn't just the bat's fault. <laughs> Dude, that was some bitch move shit, though. That was. You cannot deny it. But yeah, part of it was the bat's fault. But the fight's still going. All I did was take a little nap in the middle. Flimsy, you say? I'm certain it was quite strong. Oh, well, that's all over now. Uh, now, Mr. Bad, let's go. Let's transform you into a splendid cyborg hero. T for some reason, my powers drain. Um, the sedative seems effective. Of course it is. This drug is normally used for large animals. Dude, did they give him... Uh, dude, what kind of tranks were those? Were those, like, elephant tranks? Or were those tiger tranks? Dude, either way, man. Uh, oh, gosh. It, they gotta be elephant tranks. They gotta have been elephant. It's either elephant or tiger tranks, but how much you want to bet that was elephant tranks? Um, being able to even walk while in that state means he's, he's a normally resistant. That it's likely that the same trick won't work again. Let's get him cyborified quickly. What are you doing? Blue! Perfect timing. Uh, hello, there, Mr. Blue. What are you doing on this floor? While fighting um, with the level dragon, the battle was so fast, there were some bugs with enemy signal acquisition, so I came uh, for some maintenance on my lenses, and what are you two doing? Mm, well, there's a reason for this, though I'm not sure we are at liberty to talk about it. Be careful, du be careful, Blue, these guys are real bad dudes. Good job, middle bat! <laughs> and also, this background one is so perfect. Ooh. Allow me to explain. Who the... Oh, you have not yet, um, uh, wait. Oh, you have not met him yet? Have you, Mr. Bad? After all, he's an upper-class citizen, and for his safety, only a few are allowed to meet him in person. This man is, woo! Um, the Neo Heroes founder and leader who reached out to Mr. Blue, Mr. Fuzzy! So this is the founder! Hmm! What's his connection to Metal Knight, we must wonder? Um, he is the grandson of the now deceased great seer, uh, she, wait, Shibabawa, who inherited her powers of recognition and her, um, entire estate. This gentleman will become the leader of a new world. Oh! Oh, so, yeah, so he is probably Metal Knight's greatest foe yet. Ooh. First of all, a lot, let, of all, let me apologize. I'm sorry. This was our mistake. Melbeth, did, I did not get permission to dispose of you or turn you into a cyborg, and the stipulations for that have not been met either. One, is part of uh, resuscitative measures. Two, to correct brainwaves that create dangerous... I'm going to read the rest of this, and I will give you my thoughts on that. Two, to correct brainwaves that create dangerous thoughts. And three, to improve the ability to conduct hero activities with the consent of the subject themselves. In your current state of those three conditions, none are applicable to you. Those two were jumping the gun. Wait a minute. The one and three I do not have problems with. But one is kind of interesting. You know what? One is, one is kind of interesting. 
as part of a resuscitative measure. So that can mean more in more ways than one, but I'm guessing primary, uh, primary, oh God, if, it, if we're talking necromancy kind of thing, which I really hope that's not one of them. Um, because if you're going to play God, which I think Fuzz, Mr. Fuzzy wants to play God, um, then that's not cool. But if you're talking about just like, you know, for um, healing, you know, for uh, replacing limbs and whatnot, um, you know, um, helping um, people that are like critically injured or something like that. Okay, I'm fine with that. That I can get behind. Two, to correct brainwaves that create dangerous thoughts. Now, that's where I have a problem. Excuse me. Fuck off. Define your... First of all, define your your definition for dangerous thoughts. And two, fuck off for trying to tell people how they think. They can think whatever the hell they want, you asshole. You're the real villain here. You ain't the... He for, you ain't the real hero. You're a villain. Like, that should be... Number, point number two should scare the shit out of you. That is Skynet right there. Number two is fucking Minority Report meets Skynet. Oh my god. And three, to, abil uh, to improve the ability to conduct hero activities with the consent of the subject them themselves? Uh... I don't think those criminals that you were going to take in were, um, were freaking consent. Um, so, yeah, they, yeah, the only one that fits that criteria is number two for the criminals. So, um, yeah, you are full of shit. You are just flat out Skynet. That's what the Neo Heroes are. They are Skynet. But, again, this, it just makes me wonder, where is the, what is this connection to Metal Knight here? Is, are they enemies? Are they working together? I am so, like, torn on this. Jumping the gun, does this organization just let its security guards fuck around all they want? The guards are in the clear. We have organization um, internal supervisors keeping a close eye on them. Mr. F uh, Fuzzy hired these external agents to keep us from ending up on the same corrupt path as the Hero Association. Wait a minute! Do you not see something wrong with this? Um, but it looks like they've gone too far. You guys are supposed to be supervisors, but you're the ones breaking the rules. Pathetic. Thank you. It seems they misinterpreted my instructions. Perhaps this is their form of carefulness manifesting from the... Bullshit! False carefulness, my ass! Nah. You are... F Fuzzy, you told them to do this. You are full of shit. Uh, manifesting from their experience with things like guarding dignitaries, counterterrorism, and infiltrating underworld organizations. That's right, we'll be more careful from now on. I'll be frank with you, Metal Bat. We suspect you may be a spy from the Hero Association and have you placed under surveillance temporarily. Me? Our investigators are currently in the middle of a background check on you. You see, we received information that there are efforts inside the Hero Association to try and crush our Neo organi um, organization. While the world is being thrown into chaos by this monster disaster, Hero organizations fighting against each other could threaten the very existence of humanity. Oh, really? Really? But you being Skynet and, tr and turning, hum turning people into cyborgs it is not a threat against humanity. Really? Especially since you want to eliminate dangerous thought. Really, Fuzzy? Really? We want to eliminate any seeds of conflict ahead of time. Yeah, by force, by fucking correcting them. I, I, in the end, I believe we want to negotiate towards an amicable settlement. I By, yeah, t turning them into cyborgs. I apologize for the extreme methods um, these two employed. Nonetheless, you haven't been fully cleared of suspicion along with the possibility of multiple offenses our warning net will... Um, our, our warning net will stay uh, stay deployed. I'm telling you, these fuckers are Skynet. It may be inconvenient, but until things calm down, we're keeping you confined to this facility. We'll treat you right, and we'll make sure nobody lays a hand on your family either. Please accept my apology. Doesn't make any sense to suspect me, you know. Fine. Whatever. If you want to investigate, investigate. I don't care what you bust your brains over, uh, over with your logic. I'm still going to do things whenever I want as much as I want. Um, ah, walking really wakes me up. Guess people really should go on walks every once in a while. <laughs> I love you, Melbat. Hey, move. 
Where are you going? You guys still suspect me, don't you? I'm being a good boy and going back to my room on my own. The spirit of cooperation and all that. <laughs> Dude, Blue knows. Blue knows something's up. But don't forget this. I got my eyes on you. Don't think you're the only ones who can dole out punishment. So you guys better be aimed. <laughs> Dude, Val Bat ain't taking your shit. He knows you guys are fuck. He knows who the real villains are. And it's you fuckers. He knows. He ain't a dumbass. The more damage he takes, um, uh, the more latent energy surges into him. A man who loves his family deeply and always honors his word. Yeah, that's what I thought. I knew he was, I knew this was the scientist from Neo Heroes. And remember, remember, this motherfucker was on, um, Metal Knight's radar here. So he is, he is going to be used by Metal Knight to cause chaos. So, ooh, is this motherfucker a mole? Is he a mole for Metal Knight? Oh my God, if he is a mole for Metal Knight, I am going to lose my shit. Please tell me that this bitch is a mole for Metal Knight and he is going to destroy the Neo Heroes from within. I think I got my, I got my tinfoil hat on ready for this. Let, Cause this shit right here is very important. This line that I'm about to read, cause this is exactly what, um, was very similar to what Blast said to, uh, Tatsumaki to win him over point out benefit. Uh, sorry, not, not this, um, not this line in particular, but it just, uh, but the whole family thing is just, just reminds me of Blast. What Blast said to Tatsumaki. Just saying. But anyway. To win him over, point out benefits for his family rather, rather than for him. To control him rather than using brute force and instead recommend to exhaust him. McCoy, the data you pulled from the association is proving quite useful. Yes. I, I intend on making you my right-hand man in the future. I look forward to your continued contributions to Neo. Absolutely. Amazing. Even those cocky S-classes start behaving like puppies once Neo gets a hold of them. I'll establish a solid position here. Then I can live out my golden years like a king. <laughs> Forming an alliance between the Hero Association and Neo Heroes isn't going to be easy. Even on the inside, there's no end to uh, their distrust of each other. If both groups are putting their lives on the line out on the field as heroes, if all of us are heroes, we should be able to put aside our organizational differences and work together. Uh, the shit with the, you don't see the problems going on inside the Neo Heroes, do you? I should, I should, should I go about sending my message through one of the top heroes? The high ranked uh, hero under dad, Tornado of Terror? No, how about someone with more charisma like King? At any rate, they're not exactly easy individuals to contact. From their perspective, I'm just a guy from a new organization who gets special treatment by writing the name of his father. Saitama! Um, his strength is on level of an S-class hero or a neo-leader. He also participates in protests. Um, it's possible that he holds considerable influence. That's it. He could be the key to, um, relay, uh, to relaying my message to the top. Good luck with that! But... Things are getting very, very, very suspicious here. And this is where I'm going to put my tinfoil hat on. Because remember, this motherfucker, the scientist that's there. Um, hold on. Let me scroll back up. Uh, McCoy. Remember McCoy was on that board in chapter 136. At the end of chapter 136 of, um, of pawns that uh, Metal Knight is going to use... Who is going to cause the trouble first? I think Neo Heroes is probably an enemy of Metal Knight. It really is starting to seem that way. But I'm, I was thinking McCoy might have been a mole, but I don't think that's the case. Um, let's see. But something's going to go down with McCoy. And I think the key based on, hold on, let me go pull up that panel from last chapter and then I'll put, and then I'll really get into this because it said here, hold on, I 
really want to have this in front of me. Or no, it's not from last chapter. I'm sorry. It's from chapter 135. Oh my god. Um, from chapter 135, what he said. God, so many chapters came out this week for the webcomic, so I'm sorry I mixed them up. It said here, um, now when will the trouble start? And we, um, uh, let's see. Because he's looking at this, and he's looking at, uh, looking at, um, there's the what there's McCoy there's Drive Knight there's Child Emperor there's Webby Zaga um, there's Saitama and there's Siryu and there's Blue those are the characters that we're focusing on right now it seems um so who is um when will the now when will the trouble start is the question who is going to start this trouble? Hmm. I think it just, so that makes me wonder if the real enemy, and based on like everything else we saw here and, you know, looking at the screen and seeing all the Neo Hero stuff up in here. Oh yes. He, uh, especially when he says he can do what he wants, I won't be stopped by anyone. Yeah, yeah, Neo Heroes, Definitely enemy organization not working with Metal Knight based on based on what was said at the end of this chat uh, Based on what was said in chapter 135 and based on now that we got the confirmation that fuzzy mr. Fuzzy is the head of the neo heroes and It's going to be very interesting to see What's gonna go down especially with McCoy McCoy is gonna be a, a, is gonna be a very interesting player in this game Ooh, he is. I just got this feeling that McCoy's going to start some shit. He is. But, um, we're going to see, we've already, and let's be real, in chapter 136 and 137, we've started to see, and, and like to an extent even a little bit before that, we've started to see some questioning of what's going on with the Neo Heroes. And man, it's just, it really, really seems like this is just flat out Skynet. This really is, especially with what the conditions are to turning um, people into cyborgs or using cyborg technology. Yeah, this is just flat out Skynet. You cannot deny this shit. It is. And they're going to start questioning them. So, uh, I can't wait to see who starts the trouble who starts um, bringing uh, the Neo Heroes down, if it's ultimately um, McCoy, if it's if it Drive Knight does it. Ooh, if Drive Knight gets involved in this, ooh, that would be very interesting. Um, obviously, I, Blue is definitely, definitely going to get involved. Blue is going to definitely get involved. Obviously, Saitama going to be involved because Blue is going to be meeting up with Saitama uh, next chapter so maybe that will be the start of this is blue meeting up with Saitama and then you know what well, based on what we found out with um with Metal Bat this chapter and also remember Genos is Genos and Saitama have already vowed that they're gonna go investigate what the fuck is going on so this is gonna be very interesting we'll see if Saitama can get uh, you know Saitama and if Genos is with Saitama they will talk to blue and see if we they can get some, you know, some info and see what the fuck is going down over there, um, from from the, and get maybe get Blue even thinking. But then there's the question of where does Blast fit in all of this? Where did where is Blast going to come in? I think ultimately, as much as I want to say this is going to be a battle against Metal Knight in the end, the other part of me is like no. I think the blast arc is ultimately going to be going up against the big, the end game, um, or the boss villain of this arc is going to be the Neo, uh, Neo heroes. It's gotta be Neo heroes or there might be, or it might be like mini boss and then, you know, end game boss being blast. We'll have to wait and see, but it, for right now, it seems like the Neo heroes is looking up to, is looking to be like the big baddie here. Um, because I don't think Metal Knight is done yet. He's not... Metal Knight, I think, might be... I think Metal Knight is set up to be Endgame of this entire series. In all reality. So that's why I'm saying Metal Knight, not yet. 
Not yet. Blast? Maybe. Might be. I, will we see Blast in this arc? I really. Well, we better be seeing Blast. We'll get an appearance. Do I think he'll be a villain in this arc? Ooh, may, uh, could be. But I don't think that Blast. I, I just think that we're not going to. I don't know if Blast is going to be the villain up in here anymore. I don't know. I think we'll find out. We'll find out Blast connection to Metal Knight. Oh, for sure, we'll find that out, and we'll get uh, by the end of the arc. We'll find out what the hell's going on in terms of like Blast allegiances, where the fuck he's been. We'll find that out. But I don't think I don't think it's gonna be. I, I think Metal Knight is being personally. I think Metal Knight is being saved up based on what we're seeing here, um, especially in the past few chapters. Is being uh, saved up for Endgame and Neo Heroes especially with the introduction of Fuzzy, is, um, is the boss of this, is the boss villains of the, of this arc. Um, I'm really curious what you guys think. Um, do you guys, do you guys agree with me that, um, we got the boss villain here, that, you know, Fuzzy is the boss villain, and do you think that Metal Knight, based on everything we've gotten so far, from the webcomic and the manga, that Metal Knight is set up to be the endgame villain? To me, that's what it really seems like. Um, it's, oh God, it's going to be very interesting to see what direction one's going to go with this. I'm really, I'm still torn about Blast being a villain. I think we're going to find out at the end of this arc if Blast got turned into a cyborg or what is going on. Once we find that out, once we find out what's going on with Blast, then things will get a lot clearer. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Against Inc. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more One Punch Man content. There's a few ways you could do that. You can donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.